Climate change is warming the planet and melting the polar ice caps. And scientists have discovered that that is slowing down the planet's rotation ever so slightly. Like a figure skater, when the arms and weight extend outward, she slows down. So too when there's more water around the Earth's midsection. Greenland is dumping billions of tons of ice into the sea. And so the effect of global warming has been to slow the rotation of the entire Earth. It counters the recent trend of adding leap seconds every few years. This year, the planet is getting more than it bargained for, one extra second. For decades, movement in the Earth's molten core was speeding up the Earth's rotation. It's one reason we've added leap seconds. We've paused the world's clocks for one second to keep in sync with the Earth's rotation. We've actually added 27 leap seconds since 1972. But as the ice caps melt and more water shifts to the equator, slowing the Earth, we haven't added a leap second in eight years. And scientists now expect to subtract a second. In other words, clocks would jump ahead one second to shorten the day. A negative leap second, they're calling it. Why does it matter? We deal in nanoseconds here. Those are billionths of seconds. They keep track of time very precisely at this lab near Denver. Adding or subtracting a full second is a big deal in an interconnected computerized world. Your phone, GPS. GPS works by having atomic clocks on board satellites. Yeah, imagine something like the stock market, right? You have hundreds of millions of transactions happening in a second. Our technology and our clocks have been able to adjust to leap seconds, but a negative leap second? There would have to be lots of simulation studies done, software tested, uh, to make sure when that negative leap second is, is added that nothing breaks. Duncan Agnew expects the world's clocks may require a negative leap second as early as 2026. It's very hard to get all the computers in the world to, to know about this at the right time. Since it's never been done in the other direction, people are quite concerned that things won't be synchronized. As for the Earth continuing to shift its mass, it's like humans. Seems we slow down when we <clears throat> put on some weight around the equator. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto.